Hurricane Barrow maintains Category 4 strength. Well, it's been a rather explosive end to June as Hurricane Barrel has maintained its Category 4 strength into the month of July at 11.5 degrees north, 58.1 degrees west as of the NHC's last update advisory, Advisory 10, which was at 11 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, 3 a.m. UTC. This is what we're going with in uh, terms of midnight uh, Atlantic Standard Time. 4 a.m. UTC, 130 miles an hour winds, central pressure of 958 millibars. Moving to the west-northwest, slightly above west at 18 miles an hour, 30 kilometers an hour, and maintaining 110 points on our T coast, which is equivalent to a code red. As I say again, 130 mile an hour winds, 215 kilometers an hour, 958 millibars, 28.29 inches of mercury this system maintains a category 4 major hurricane strength as it enters the month of july now as i say it has been a rather explosive end to june as pretty much no one saw it, saw it coming when it happened but hey it's happened now and it still has maintained that intensity so it is right now 196 miles away from Trinidad and Tobago, 236 from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 242 from Grenada, 244 from St. Lucia, and 272 miles from Martinique. That's 315 kilometers away from Trinidad and Tobago, 380 kilometers away from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 389 kilometers from Grenada, 392 from St. Lucia, and 438 from Martinique. The 34 knot wind fields are 100 nautical miles to the northeast, 80 to the southeast, 70 to the southwest, and 80 to the northwest. The 64 knot uh, quadrants are 25 nautical miles to the northeast, 20 to the southeast, 15 to the southwest, and 25 again to the northwest. Eagle eye viewers would have noticed that is a new feature in these video updates from this point forward. Hurricane warnings are still in effect from Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadine Islands, Grenada and Tobago. Tropical storm warnings are in effect from for Martinique and Trinidad and a tropical storm watch remains in effect for Dominica, the south coast of the Dominican Republic from Punta Palinique uh, westward to the border with Haiti, the south coast of Haiti from the border with the Dominican Republic to Anse de Haitenout. Apologies if I mispronounced any locations there. So Major Hurricane Barrel is barreling down on various islands in the Caribbean as a powerful Category 4 Major Hurricane. Residents in the path of this powerful storm need to have completed preparations and never mind about that. So here's the latest forecast about what we think with a medium confidence as it barrels through the Windward Islands and enters the Caribbean, weakening as it does so. Again, Category 3, Category 2, entering as a Category 2 into the Yucatan and weakening as a tropical storm five days out. That should be 12 a.m. UTC July 6. The primary th threat with this system is very damaging winds. So Beryl is expected to bring winds of up to 130 mile an hour or may possibly even higher across certain parts of the Windward Islands and possibly even further into the Caribbean. These extremely strong winds can have the potential to knock debris off buildings and it is strongly advisable, strongly recommended rather, to stay in your safe space until the danger passes and the storm has cleared from your location. So I'll say that again, the primary hazard associated with major hurricane barrel is damaging winds. Barrel is expected to bring winds of up to 130 mile an hour or more across to the Windward Islands. So here's the latest cone from the NHC as of advisory number 10. As you can see, uh, the hurricane warnings are in effect as the system will cross as major strength and will continue major strength for quite some time into the Caribbean. The rainfall potential, you can see up to 10 inches plus of local, locally fallen rainfall in certain parts of this graphic that I believe is in the Grenadines. You can get up to six inches locally in Grenada, eight inches locally in Barbados and St. Vincent. 
Once again, that is 10 inches in Granada. The chance of storm force winds, again, 100% pretty much guaranteed for some parts of the Windward Islands. Heading all the way up to Jamaica. Jamaica right now, I believe if I'm seeing that correctly, that is a 60% chance of storm force winds. But when it comes to hurricane force winds, they're really saying only an 80% chance up to the Windward Islands, although that chance could increase as the storm moves closer. And all the way up to Jamaica, that looks like about a 20% chance, but like I say, as the storm inches closer to Jamaica, those chances could increase. When it comes to sea surface temperatures, we're seeing up to at least what I believe to be 29 degree waters ahead of this system. Surface plots, again, around the Grenadines, seeing around a lowest point, 1010, uh, uh, millibars that could decrease as the storm again inches further and further towards the Windward Islands up to around about Haiti it looked about 1013 right about there the multi-model diagnostics really I think they take it for a one slightly more than it is right about now deep flash here is starting to get on the rise and slowly increasing as the storm continues its life. Sea surface temperatures are not a problem for this system at all. Mid-level relative humidity also not a problem for this system. So here's the latest satellite imagery courtesy of the Force 13 website, which you can view at your own pleasure. Force 13 or force-13.com rather forward slash satellite. And again, just look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Uh, <clears throat> a beautiful eye, beautiful structure, beautiful basically everything about this system. And again, it's a very, very powerful system as it inches closer toward the Windward Islands and will continue to uh, in, be, uh, maintain the strength as it passes the Windward Islands, headed up. Maybe not so much towards Jamaica, it might weaken a little bit before it reaches then, but it is expected to reach a peak of 145. <clears throat> excuse me, mile an hours, miles per hour, excuse me, uh, once it passes the Windward Islands and weaken from here on out and expected, according to our forecast, to be a Category 2 once it reaches the Yucatan Peninsula. You can stay up to date with all the latest at Forset Team by subscribing to the YouTube channel, viewing our socials such as uh, X, formerly Twitter, and Facebook. And we will catch you in the next update and maybe even a live event, which, shouldn't, which should just be in a few hours time from now.